There's three things above all else I wish I knew from the start. And in this video, I'm gonna share those three things with you to hopefully save you a lot of time and to help you to write better songs faster. So let's get into it. Understanding creativity. Did you ever come up with a line for a song and then immediately start looking for a rhyme for it? I used to do this all the time. I'd get an idea for a lyric and then I'd start trying to think of rhymes. But by the time I'd found anything worthwhile, all that initial inspiration was long gone. And it wasn't until I started to get interested in how creativity actually works that I realized what was going on. You see, we use different parts of our brain during different parts of the songwriting process. Inspiration and creativity live mainly in our creative right brain. So when I was getting that inspiration for a lyric, my right brain was lighting up. But looking for rhymes is actually a left brain logical activity. So I was shutting down my creativity before it even had a chance to get going. And this led to a lot of frustration and left me thinking that I didn't have what it takes to be a good songwriter. Writer. And that's why now I do everything I can to stay in that creative right brain for as long as possible. Sure, we absolutely need that logical left brain, but there's a time and a place for that. You see, something else lives in that logical left brain, and that's our inner critic, that little voice that likes to tell us that what we're doing is no good. But music, melody, emotion, Thinking in pictures and using metaphor are all right brain creative activities and they're also the heart and soul of our songs. Music gives the emotion and the vibe of a song and the lyrics give that emotion detail. And where do details live? In that logical left brain. So now, instead of stopping to think of rhymes, I'll just sing nonsense words just to keep that creative flow going. I try not to write in paragraphs or lists. I use mind maps instead. I try to think in pictures and not in words. I do whatever I can to stoke that creative of fire until it's burning bright. Look, this is just scratching the surface when it comes to creativity. The last tip in this video was a real game changer for me. But before we dive into that, I need to talk about the most dangerous adverb in songwriting. Just. As a beginner, I heard two things more than anything else. Just right and right from the heart. And I wish someone would have explained this to me properly because it would have made me a much better songwriter in half the time. Just doing the same thing over and over again is the slowest way to make progress at anything. Just writing is useful for about six months when you start off. But what you really need to fast track your progress is productive practice. Where you not only write, but you write you learn, you apply, and you repeat. When I started songwriting, it felt good to just write, but it wasn't long before all my songs started to sound the same, and I found it really hard to come up with new and different ideas. Until I realized there's actual tools and techniques you can learn to use to become a better songwriter. So one by one, I started to learn these techniques and apply them to my songwriting. And learning these new techniques actually started to give me more ideas, as well as making me better at expressing what I wanted to say in my songs. Right from the heart, this is the thing that slowed my songwriting progress down the most and if I could go back in time and tell myself one thing it would be this you want to write songs you need to write songs it's in your heart it's in your soul it's in your bones because you know you have something inside you that you need to express and song and music is the only way you can do that when people say right from the heart it's kind of like saying just inhale before you exhale. You already know how to breathe and you already know how to write from the heart. It is the minimum requirement for any songwriter and being told to do something that you're already doing makes you think that you're not doing it properly and you are doing it properly already. If you pour your heart and soul into a song and it doesn't sound the way you want it to sound, 99% of the time it's because you lack the technical skill to make it sound the way you want it to sound. Now I know as a beginner, the last thing I wanted to hear was this technical stuff that you have to learn about songwriting. You just wanna play, you just wanna have fun and express yourself. But after hitting some serious creative blocks, I really started to understand that how much that technical stuff helps you express the emotional stuff in the way you really want to. Well, coming up at the end of this video, I want to show you how you can start learning some of these techniques in a way that's actually fun and easy. And this brings me to the most most important thing I would tell myself if I could go back to when I was just starting out. If you're new to songwriting, there's a free cheat sheet linked below that can take you from no idea to a finished song. Creative confidence. When I started songwriting, I had to constantly ask people what they thought of my songs because I lacked creative confidence. But after a while, I started to realize what I was actually asking was, have I expressed my own emotions properly? You don't need anyone to tell you if you've expressed something you feel. You're not in school, there's no boxes to tick and there's no right answers. Look, it takes courage to pour your heart and your soul out and to have it be judged by the world. 
So building up your creative confidence is gonna be essential to deal with the judgment and the rejection that you're inevitably gonna face. But you are as creative as anyone else on the planet. And if you don't think you are, it's only because you don't know you are. You just haven't habituated that way of thinking. Songwriting is about making creative choices and solving creative problems. Now making creative choices comes down to your intuition. You either like something or you don't. And I'm not talking about letting your inner critic chime in here and decide for you. I'm talking about when you're truly in that creative zone and lost in a moment. Your inner critic can't exist in that space, but your intuition and your heart will tell you if you're onto something good or not. Solving creative problems comes down to knowing those technical tools and having the imagination to apply them creatively. And you will get to a point where you don't have to think about all this stuff. Your technique will work at the speed of your inspiration, but you don't have to figure this all out at once. Be okay with writing bad songs at the beginning because songwriting is a journey with an ever-changing destination and you have to take the steps that are right for you. But where do you start with all this? Well that's why I've put together this playlist with some of the most useful songwriting exercises that I know. They're quick, they're fun and they're designed to make learning that technical stuff a whole lot easier. So when you're ready, check them out.